All right, and we are live, ladies and gentlemen. So today is gonna be a special episode. It's the first time ever that we're gonna feature a horror game, and we're gonna play some Phasmophobia. Now, my level of expertise in this game, guys, is probably like on the really rookie noob casual side. I only got the, um, this game because a lot of my friends um, invited or tagged me along to uh, you know play in co-op this is like a co-op game but now that um we're just you know experiencing this christmas update we got like these uh, little christmas lights right here we got a christmas tree it's the first time ever that i've seen the hideout in phasmophobia so well lit um but knowing you know the devs in this game the fact that it is still a horror game i feel like the moment i um go around this spot oh my goodness it's snowing you can see a lot of snow just like you know oh my goodness that's that's so cool guys it's snowing in our hideout um but anyways going back there's the moment i turn around here i feel like there's gonna be a a monster hidden the, the door seems to be okay just kidding i thought like that was the door right here in the middle of the screen that like just got you know destroyed and then um, I thought for a second that it's going to be the first time that we can get outside of the hideout and have a little peek back in the uh, Halloween hideout theme. There was a little jump scare over here. The moment that we go inside um, this little wooden door, there was a, uh, I think like a, I, th I think, I feel like it's going to, it's a, a left for dead homage because the, the ghost that kind of like, you know, pops up here for a split second and, you know, just disappears. She resembles exactly like the witch from Left 4 Dead. But anyways, going back, so we are going to play single player right now, guys. Um, fortunately, I think um, I can't get like my friends to tag along for this run. Um, you know, it is the holiday, so for the peeps out there, do enjoy your holidays. Um, so a lot of my gamer friends are like out, they're traveling right now, just, you know, spending Christmas. And uh, well, Christmas is already over, but they're spending the, the rest of their holiday vacation out and about. Um, so, you know, give some time for yourself, guys, to enjoy the holidays if you can, you know, travel somewhere. But for now, we are going to enjoy or, you know, be scared <laughs> and terrified by um, what awaits us in Phasmophobia. So, okay, we're just gonna check the uh, this Christmas tree right here. No jump scare so far. What is this? Oh my goodness, guys. There's like, a, oh, I think this is like the screenshots, maybe like from my previous games. I feel like these are screenshots from my previous games. Ah, uh, okay. I was wondering where the uh, Christmas soundtrack's coming from. So it's coming from that radio over there. Can we interact with some of the objects in here? Is there going to be a jump scare here? Wow. Oh my goodness. Sheesh. Oh my God. I knew it. I just, I just had a feeling. I just had a feeling. So they took out most of... Okay, there's still the skeleton over here, but it's predictable now because of this one. Like, it's the skeleton's popping up. Literally a skeleton's in, in a closet. A skeleton in a closet over there. So, we, we still have some of the things. That really scared me, guys. I thought they removed it just with the uh, super happy vibe right here. I honestly thought that they removed it. But apparently they didn't. How do I drop things? Oh, it's, it's the letter G. Okay. Let's go shoot some hoops first, guys, before we <laughs> are gonna be... There we go. We got it. We got it. No! Why is it so hard to uh, shoot the basketball into the ring over here? My goodness, guys. This is the real challenge of Phasmophobia. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Prajeth? Hello, hello. Thank you for dropping by into the stream. Okay, one more, guys. If we still cannot get a shot, that's not for us. Okay, maybe a little further. Let's try to shoot it from here, guys. We have to make at least one, one basketball shot. This is gonna be our sort of like breather, a little side, <laughs> side mini game because once we go in, oh, there we go. That is our, um, that is the sign that we need to start. I just wanted to take a little breather because once we head into, <sighs> Okay, let's see first if there's something new. This is like the most recent one, guys. The Maple Lodge campsite is like the most recent one. I'm not sure if they added um, a new map apart from that one. So, 
let's go with something like a little easy for now, right? Let's go with intermediate, you know, just, just. Oh my goodness, I think I gotta buy some stuff first. If I, okay, let's check the things that we do have, just so that, you know. So we got a photo camera, spirit box, that's good, ghost writing book. EM have a lot of money left. Because uh, again, like I said, I just got to Phasmophobia because um, my friends invited me. So like the stuff I usually take um, in these ghost hunting events are usually like um, someone else, like super high level. Like I, I think I had a friend with like over 1000 for the level. So like they've really been playing Phasmophobia a lot. Unfortunately for us, we're on the casual side. So it's just regular playing right here. Um, but I do hope that at least we can get the ghost right at least once for this stream. If not, you know, at least do find entertainment and satisfactions from my jump scare screams and all that jazz. Um, you know, a lot of these... Um, let's buy. This is probably the most important um, equipment, the strong flashlight, you guys. So we're, we're gonna get a lot of those things. Um, let's go ahead and equip that right now. One strong flashlight. There we go. Click that. And then UV light. I think because these are like for checking um, fingerprints or handprints rather. So let's go ahead and check that. Um, okay, I think we're good for... Um, I, I think we only need one UV light actually since we're going to be playing single player. So just one of each. That's good enough, I guess. So I, have we selected a job? Okay. There we go. Tanglewood Street House Intermediate. Let's go ahead and start the game. So we're playing single player. Oh, have we selected a job? Okay. There we go. Tanglewood Street House Intermediate. Let's go ahead and start the game. So we're playing single player right now because um, this... I, I do admit this game is a lot more fun if you play it with a team. Okay, so to those who are unfamiliar with Phasmophobia... Okay, now that the guy's um, done talking, a little briefing to the ones who are new to Phasmophobia. Basically, you have these objectives over here. You need to find at least three evidences um, to kind of like identify the ghost. And once you do that, if you get the right ghost, you get rewarded with like monies. Now, the challenge is once you go into the house right here, into the haunted, um, sighted, sighting house, haunted house, Oh my goodness. Once you go into the haunted house, ladies and gents, um, you need to act quickly. You need to gather evidences as fast as you can because you have a certain timer before the ghost gets angry and she starts, he or she starts um, hunting you. That's a time when, um, when the ghost is hunting, um, you won't have, uh, you can't get out of the house. Um, you have to use like whatever um, equipment that you have. So if you have like um, equipment such as a crucifix, for example, that could re potentially repel a ghost hunting. Um, apart from that, I think, um, you know, you can hide in closets and just hope and pray that the ghost won't open it. Um, some ghosts are faster than others. So you have to be very um, sneaky and very um, tactical about, you know, your stuff. But anyways, let's go ahead without further ado. I think that we're, we're gonna use the camera as like a last resort. For now, we're gonna go with EMF reader, I think. I think it's called the, yeah, this is the EMF reader. And we're gonna have the ghost writing book. Once you find the ghost room, you, you usually um, put this in, you know, at some spot in the ghost room. And then if the ghost responds to it, it counts as an evidence. What else? We're missing a third item. The third item is probably gonna be a flashlight for us. We need this, guys. Unfortunately, your, your boy Toby does not have um, a bat's night vision eyes. You know what I'm saying? I can't see in complete darkness. So we're gonna need the help of a flashlight. Progest says, single player in this game increases the chances of getting caught. Oh my goodness, that is not good. But you know, well, it ideally to some extent, Progest, since you are the only player in this, um, in this uh, haunted house, 
in this case. Um, well, the chances of getting caught is like 100% in, in the uh, context where the ghost is definitely gonna haunt you. When you have other players, like when you're three or four, um, then it's like a 25% ch chance. So we see over there, there was a little spike in the EMF reader. It spiked up to level two. That is not enough, unfortunately, to count as evidence. So we have to like keep on roaming around the house, but there's definitely something going on in that room. Potential ghost room, not necessarily the ghost room itself. So I'm um, just roaming around here, checking this uh, garage area. I remember the last time it was streaming Phasmophobia. Um, the ghost was in this room and um, I, I remember I picked up an Ouija board and I placed it over here Alongside with like talking with a spirit box and just as soon as I talked the ghost suddenly popped up It wasn't like hunting mode. She literally just like flashed around, you know all that stuff So here we are at the basement guys still nothing. So unfortunately for us the ghost is not in this room this is like the uh, the smallest map in Phasmophobia, so if the ghost is not in the in this area, I mean, if there wasn't any EMF spikes, rather is what I was trying to say, because it's like here two, two is the max. It doesn't go beyond that, so we need to find another um, ghost hunting um, device. Prujas says, do you ever go for ghost hunting if you get rewards for the evidence? Are, are, are you saying like in real life, Prujas? I mean, probably, yeah. <laughs> uh, I've been playing horror games for a really, really long time now. So for me, like, you know, I've built up somewhat of a resistance for, you know. Hang on, let's go with... What other items do I have over here? I didn't bring a lot. Oh my goodness, guys. I should have brought a thermometer. Anyways, let's try this one. Hopefully it's gonna work. Um, I'm gonna use the spirit box right now. They respond to like a certain set of uh, catchphrases. So, hmm, how do I know if it's working? I think if the microphone signal in the, uh, or microphone icon rather is, um, on if that mic uh, microphone icon is there it means that um, it's picking up my um, voice in game so we're just gonna roam around do another sweep over here but we have to use the catchphrases in real life and if uh, the potential of getting encountered with ghosts very high well yeah I, I think I probably would do it still <laughs> just for the fun of it anyways let's go ahead and do the objectives right now what do I need to I forgot the catchphrases guys I think it's, oh, there, there. I think the ghost is here in this room. Ghost, are you here? I forgot the name. We're gonna quickly um, head back to the RV, guys. I forgot the name of the ghost. They respond to um, their name much um, more frequent. So his name's Daniel Martin. So uh, I have a feeling that, you know, that was a little spooky um, encounter over there, so. I hope. Let's hope that's the ghost room. I mean, it did have the EMF too, right? Okay. Let's try it, guys. Let's hope. Because we have limited um, a number of equipment right here. Uh, what should I say? Daniel Martin, are you here? Daniel M Martin, how old are you? Daniel Martin, are you near? Daniel Martin, are you close? Daniel Martin, where are you? Daniel Martin, are you here? Daniel Martin, are you close? Let's just roam around. It's usually in the ghost room, guys. But we were not able to... That Daniel Martin, show yourself. Daniel Martin, are you here? Project says the deal when I will be there... We'll go for a famous spot for ghost hunting at 3 a.m. So you're saying, Prujeth, that if you are offered some monies, you actually are willing to go for a ghost hunting um, expedition? That would be great. It's gonna be like Blair Witch, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, let's get back to it. Daniel Martin, are you here? Daniel Martin, where are you? 
Daniel Martin, show yourself. Let's go to the basement, guys. Daniel Martin, where are you? Daniel Martin, show yourself. Daniel Martin, where are you? Daniel Martin, show yourself. Daniel Martin, how old are you? Some are more responsive than others. I think like a couple of times where, when I was like playing Phasmophobia, it took like 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes before I got a response. Other times straight away, like less than a minute. But that's because I found the ghost room, guys. Here, I'm still unsure because we're not getting any evidence. It's the only ghost encounter that I have 15 minutes before I got a response. Other times straight away, like less than a minute. But that's because I found the ghost room, guys. Here, I'm still unsure because we're not getting any evidence. It's the only ghost encounter that I've ever had was like that door opening. So let's go and throw this up. Oh, hang on there. That's how we set it up. So let's set that um, up over there. Um, clearly the spirit box isn't working because we've been like going on around this area for quite some time. Daniel Martin, where are you? Daniel Martin, show yourself. Daniel Martin, Daniel Martin, you gotta show yourself, man. We gotta get those evidences, you know what I'm saying? Okay guys, spirit box not working. EMF reader not working as well. Maybe this video camera. I kind of wish that I actually got a uh, a spirit, like a tripod. So the thing with this video camera over here, you know it works if um, there is a... Let's pl place it here. Let's rotate it. Okay, hang on a second. And then it's... Oh my goodness, the camera fell. I think that was a paranormal activity, guys. <laughs> Blaming the physics for, uh, <laughs> the bad physics for a paranormal activity. Anyways, um, so the thing is, you know it, if, if, um, if there's like a paranormal activity using the video camera, if you can see some ghost orbs popping up here. So I forgot what you need to do. Did I even get it to work? Oh, there it is. So unfortunately, there are no ghost orbs. Those are like little dust particles that kind of like float around. Um, but since there's nothing here, we may have to... What is this? Uh, I think this is the dots projector, guys. Let's go ahead and try it one more time. Um, I'm still unsure. Let's get our EMF reader once more. Let's just hope that, you know, we can get some better readings this time around. Let's have a quick look on our sanity. The, when it drops, guys, when our sanity drops... Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's because we have, like, all three. Um, we got our camera over here. We got, like, so much stuff. I'm just gonna leave the camera inside the house, and we're gonna pick it up later once we find the ghost. Um, but first, I'm gonna get this one. Just so that we're sure, because I'm still not 100% convinced, you guys, that the uh, ghost room is, you know, where we set up our video camera. So, it's not enough for an EMF-5 reading. It's just a little, a little bit of a spike. So, this is what's hard. 